Peace fam, it's your brother Usman. Today we're going to talk about your unique algorithm for weight management. And when I speak on that, I'm talking about the different types of elements that each individual brings together in terms of their weight management program to achieve the results that they want to achieve. Okay, we all know that we're different and unique and not only the different body types, um, different mentalities, etc., etc. Not only do those play a part in your own unique algorithm, but the different eating styles, the different occupations, you know, the energy expenditure that some may have that others don't, mental and physical demands. All those things go into what's called your algorithm to help you to figure out what formula works best for you. For example, if you're a 90 pound woman and you are a male carrier, okay, and you want to gain weight, it's going to be somewhat more arduous for you to do that than someone who wants to gain, say, a few pounds and they, their job is as a desk clerk somewhere. Um, as a matter of fact, let me put together a, a scenario, two different scenarios that I came across, okay? 90 pound female wants to gain weight is a mail carrier. Not much access to food because in the rising, um, when she gets up, she usually has time to fix one meal usually doesn't carry a lunch, um, so usually eats out of the machines, um, and is a traditional mail carrier where she walks most of the way, okay? Gets home because of the commute, late at night. She's usually the only one up, is too tired, may grab something real quick, uh, usually a high, high glycemic carb, and then go to bed on that, okay? Versus, say, someone who weighs 120 pounds, wants to gain five pounds, it will be a lot easier uh, in this scenario we're talking about a woman who's 120 pounds wants to gain 10 pounds okay when she gets up she has time to fix for breakfast for her her children um, eats eats a, eats a nice breakfast before going to work packs a nice lunch at her job she's uh, a clerk she sits all day and her facility has a cafeteria has plenty of access to food, gets off work early enough, short commute, goes home, everyone's up, everyone's snacking. Sometimes hubby has something um, prepared for already, eats that, and in addition, before going to uh, bed, has time to fix a nice protein shake, okay? So these two different individuals are going to have their unique algorithm, and the one who wants to gain 20 pounds, mail carrier is going to have to do a lot more adjustment than the one who's 120 who just wants to gain five or 10 pounds. Okay, um, so this is what this is. These are the perfect examples of, of two conflicting algorithms um, that people have, although they want to achieve the same result. So there are always thematic principles that run through any type of goal or any type of program, I should say. So fitness programs are no different. You're going to have to adhere to the thematic principles that run through, which are, in my estimation, the top intake, body type, and supplementation. Okay. And a lot of people kind of frown at supplementation, but I'll explain that in a minute. So when you talk about attacking your personal algorithm, and again, personal trainers, anybody in the field of consulting someone for their weight management goals, be it weight loss, weight gain. Their main job is not necessarily to give you a universal program that works for everyone because there is not a universal program that works for everyone. What their job is, is to help you find your own personal algorithm, your own correct algorithm that you formulate together to achieve whatever weight management goals you want to achieve. All right, that's number one job. And if someone's approaching you with a universal approach, like this works for everyone, I would second guess that. I would get a second opinion, okay? That's just me. All right, so main steps into finding your personal algorithm. Number one, of course, is intake, what you eat, okay? Whether you eat two meals a day, three meals a day, four days, four meals a day, all that's important, okay? Are you eating for your desired goal, okay? If, you're, if your goal is weight loss, doesn't necessarily mean you need to eat less. You may need to eat more. You may just need to, for example, change your algorithm from four meals 
that are all carbohydrate meals to two meals that are carbohydrate meals, two meals that are strictly vegetable and protein meals. And then those two meals are also thermogenic protein meals, or you may want to take thermogenic um, supplementations with those, you know, cayenne pepper, ginger, cinnamon, things of that nature. Uh, you might want to have, you might want to sip tea, um, mild tea, maybe at about five, six o'clock at the latest, okay, to give your body that boost at the same time you're reducing calories throughout the day since you're cutting out your carbs after six, okay. These are ways that you can change and tweak an algorithm for yourself. A lot of people don't take multivitamins. I can't stress enough that the commercialization of food nowadays is such that it's very difficult to get unless you're eating a, a lot and you're eating a lot of very dense foods it's very difficult to get the proper ratio of minerals and vitamins that you need in order especially if you're doing some sort of exercise program because you're sweating if you're doing a lot of sweating you're excreting a lot of minerals okay very important so if you're doing uh, proper mineral supplementation that's very important it goes along with your intake uh, that portion of it you need to do that and you need to make sure that you're taking a multivitamin uh, natural food multivitamins are very uh, prevalent nowadays it's easy for you to get one uh, because your body will not perform its metabolic processes properly and to full efficiency if those minerals are not present in adequate amounts okay for example, iron. People don't understand how important iron is, uh, especially for females who lose a lot of iron during the cycle. Uh, your iron is needed to help build red blood cells. Red blood cells are responsible for fueling and pushing all of the nutrients, all of the uh, cells processes. It's respiration. It's uh, excretion of waste. All that goes into the proper building of your red blood cells. If you're deficient on iron, you're basically slowing your body's very building and functioning, cleansing and respiratory, cellular respiratory process down. Okay, people don't understand how important these minerals are. Okay, number two, body type. Okay, the intake program or process for uh, say an ectomorph, which is a, a thin person like myself, um, I can eat later at night than the average being because it doesn't really set on me um, that much. It does now that I'm older, but I can get away with eating carbs a little bit later. I can get away with eating a little bit more because for the most part, if I eat the right foods, it just fuels my metabolism. If I eat, um, let's say, peanut butter and protein uh, before I go to bed, uh, I may sweat at night because my metabolism is, is kind of is fueled a little bit above uh, normal and if the air conditioner is not on you know I can feel the heat uh, the heat or the rise in my body temperature especially if I eat something like uh, salmon and uh, what I call an avocado heater if you've uh, gone back into my video library you you see that I fixed that and I, these things things of old I still use religiously okay so for me it will be a little bit easier to lose weight or to maintain my weight or to make sure I don't gain weight than someone who may be uh, an endomorph, which is kind of a thicker person who already has a slow metabolism. That's why weight sets on a lot easier. Then they may be the ones who want to stop eating after a certain period of time and just maybe drink uh, a little uh, mild tea with uh, cayenne pepper in it to heat the body. They may want to be involved in these eating styles that cut out the carbs after a certain time, okay? But they will also gain weight because their metabolism is moving slower so that the body is not being broken down. So as long as throughout the day they're getting adequate amount of meals, um, mineral supplementation is up to par, their body will still be building because as a faster metabolism also comes a faster body breakdown. If the proper uh, macronutrients are not available. A slower metabolism, a slower breakdown happens. So even though they, they have to stop eating carbs, as long as they have, say, a protein shake, um, maybe two hours before they go to bed, to make sure that amino acid supply is there in the body, their body will use those amino acids 
to structure itself. Okay, it's a, a myriad of different algorithms that, that are endless. And again, that's why when you get with people who understand these type of things, they have to find your particular algorithm. Okay, your supplementation. I can't stress this enough. A lot of people are very, very protein deficient. Protein is probably one of the number one things that people neglect, especially vegans who think that miraculously that they can eat a bunch of vegetables all day and get an adequate amount of protein. Now, if you're not engaging in an uh, exercise program, okay, you can do that. Because if you notice, ask yourself how many vegans you may see or follow that are uh, thin. You know, and if that's if that's your if that's your lifestyle, if that's okay with you, no problem. But if you're going to be a vegan and you want to carry a little bit of weight, especially as a man, um, you're going to need to deal with that protein. Not only that, people think that amino acids, the body won't build itself without amino acids present, okay, in supply, in reserve. That's what the body builds muscle and tissue from, amino acids. No amino acids, no building, okay. Um, but as a man, if you're engaged in muscle breakdown, which would be through your exercise regimen, then you're going to need a surplus of amino acids. And that's where those amino acid shakes are going to come in. You can get plant uh, power protein uh, easily. Um, we all know that. But you need to supplement with that. Uh, a lot of people are eating three meals a day and they may be two high carb meals or three high carb meals and one protein meal, maybe salmon or uh, sometimes tofu. And they think that they're getting an adequate supply of proteins from that when that's not the case. Okay. Um, you need at least your body weight and protein if you are engaged in the exercise program. All right. And amino acids, amino acids form enzymes. Enzymes are what uh, cause conversions in your body, breakdowns of foods, uh, separation of macronutrients, micronutrients, and the conversion of different chemicals in the body. They won't happen without proteins and enzymes. Um, amino acids. Okay. So the body not only uses amino acids to build itself, but to function, all right? And that's one of the major things that I see that people are not doing. No supplementation uh, with protein or with the multivitamin, okay? These are very important things. But all of this goes into finding out what your personal algorithm is. Um, I have a plethora of videos that you can look over to build your own algorithm or not build, I should say, properly formulate your own algorithm, okay? That's a process within itself. It's kind of complex. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you've already engaged in it, you know, and it's 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 a it's a uh, trial and error process, you know. So you have to be patient with it. Uh, like I said, if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. Uh, the best thing you could do is read, study, watch videos, follow people who are engaged in weight programs, weight loss programs, weight gain programs, weight management programs, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, to build your own personal algorithm. Um, but of course, you know, with the proper dedication and focus it's always possible if you learned from this video help support the study in time to bring this knowledge to our community it does take time and effort to be concise and as accurate as possible so that we can stay abreast of important health information and techniques please visit the site and follow these links